Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we are going to make a smart water level controller using Arduino. Here you can see I am already using the circuit since last week to control a pump. Here I have used a 30 ampere relay so you can control most of the pump with this circuit. This controller can sense the water level both in the overhead and underground tank using two float sensor and accordingly turn on and off the pump automatically and there is also a manual mode to control the pump manually. I have made the complete circuit on the zero PCB with the help of this layout and during the video I have shared the circuit source code so after watching it you can easily make this project. For this project I have used the Altium PCB designer software to draw the circuit then design the PCB. Altium is the most trusted PCB designer software by all the big electronic companies. With Altium you can easily search any electronics components, compare the datasheet and it has lot of useful features which will save you a lot of time while routing any complex PCBs. There are a lot of tutorials available on Altium and the user interface is so simple you can easily learn this software and use it to design PCBs for your upcoming project. I will highly recommend you to download the free trial version of the Altium PCB designer software from the video description. Now before going to the details let me give you a quick demo. These two are the float sensor. This sensor will sense the water level in the overhead tank and this sensor will sense the water level in the underground tank. Now with this type of sensor you can set the minimum and maximum water level which we will discuss later on. Currently the controller is in auto mode. You will find the yellow LED is on and the water level in both the tank is high so both the green LED is on. Now when the water level drop down below certain level in the overhead tank you will find the pump automatically turn on currently for testing i have connected this lamp instead of the pump now when the water level rise above a certain level in the overhead tank the pump will automatically turn off now again if the water level drop down below a certain level in the overhead tank the pump will on now during this time when the pump is on if the water level drop down below a certain level in the underground tank Again the pump will turn off, say there is no water in the underground tank and when the water level rise in the underground tank, the pump will turn on automatically. And again when the water level rise above certain level in the overhead tank, the pump will turn off. Now we will go to manual mode. To go to manual mode, I just have to turn on this switch. You will find this yellow LED turn off. So it is in manual mode. In manual mode, we can easily turn on and off the pump with this switch. Currently the pump is on. Let me turn it off. So now the pump is off. Now let me turn it on again. Again the pump is on in the manual mode. And during this time, if the water level drop down below a certain level in the underground tank, still the pump will be turned off in the manual mode. So it will always check the water level in the underground tank and if there is no water the pump will turn off automatically. These are the required components for this project. Here I have used a 30 ampere relay module. You have to use the relay module as per the pump rating you want to control. And to sense the water level we are going to use these two float sensor. And as you are going to use direct AC supply so I have used a AC to DC converter. Now you have to connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. The circuit is very simple. If you use AC to DC converter, then you can directly provide the AC supply to this circuit. Otherwise, you have to give the 5 volt DC supply. Now here you have to connect the relays and I have used active low relay. So for the low signal, the relay will turn on and for the high signal, the relay will turn off. Now here you have to connect the sensor for the overhead tank and with these pins you have to connect the sensor for the underground tank. Now here you can see in the common pin of the sensor I have given the 5 volt supply for the both sensor. Now if the tank is full this pin will become high and if the water level is low in the tank then this pin will become high. And all these pins are connected with the Arduino digital pin so that Arduino can sense the water level and with these pins we have to connect the dc 5 volt buzzer and here we have to connect the switch to control the pump manually and with these pins we have to connect the switch to change the mode and again these two pins are connected with the Arduino digital pin 
now here you can see this is the Arduino Uno and here we have used these digital pins and these are the indicator LED to monitor the water level in both the tank and these are some pull down register to make the circuit compact I have designed a PCB for this project you can download the GABA file from the video description but in this video we are going to make this complete circuit on a zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout you can also download this layout from the description and on this layout you can see I have mentioned a grid which will help you to make this complete circuit on the zero PCB now first you have to print this layout on a A4 page as per the PCB dimension now in this manner we have to match the grid on the layout with the hole on the PCB now with the help of this tool we can easily place a hole on this layout so that we can place the components now we will place all the components one by one on this zero PCB as per the PCB layout now we have to solder and connect all the components as per the circuit as you can see with the help of this bottom layout we can easily connect the component on the zero PCB after soldering you can see our PCB is ready now let me connect the Arduino on the PCB this is the source code for this project you can download this code from our website iotcircuithub.com just visit the article you will find a link in the description then you can download the code from this button now let me open this code for this project we have used Arduino Nano you can also use Arduino Uno so we have downloaded this version of the Arduino board 1.8.6 and you need to install AC button library 1.9.2 version these are the digital pin I have used for this project now let me scroll down to void setup in the void setup I have defined a input output pin and, and after all the configuration when the controller will be ready the buzzer will start for 500 millisecond then in the void loop you can see I am just calling this to function this function will check the mode whether it is in auto mode or manual mode and this function will control the pump so if I go to check mode function in the check mode function first we are checking if we are changing the mode so if you go to auto to manual mode and the pump was running then it will turn off and after that we are just storing the current mode in a pre mode variable and at last we are controlling the mode LED as per the current mode now in the control pump function first we are checking what is the current mode if the mode switch pin is high that is auto mode then we are fetching the data from the water level sensor and accordingly turn on and off the pump and if the mode is manual mode it will go to else block then we are controlling the pump from the manual switch and in the manual mode if there is low water level in the underground tank still the pump will automatically turn off and if you refer the same circuit then you do not have to change anything in the code you can directly upload this code to Arduino Nano or you can also use Arduino Uno so in the board I have selected Arduino Nano then I have selected the bootloader then proper port now I will hit the upload button after programming we have to connect the relays float switch buzzer with the PCB as per the circuit here you can see we have connected all the components with the PCB this is the 30 ampere relay this is the DC buzzer here we have connected the float switch for the overhead tank and with this float switch we will check the water level in the underground tank then with this switch we can change the mode like manual mode auto mode and with this switch we can control the pump manually if it is in manual mode and for testing I have connected a AC bulb instead of pump if everything goes fine then we will connect the pump with this PCB now we will quickly test this circuit this sensor is for the water tank and this is for the underground tank currently water level in both tank is high you can see both the green LED turns on now if the water level drop down below a certain level in overhead tank the pump will automatically turn on you can see the lamp turns on and also the blue LED turns on now when the water level rise above certain level the pump will automatically turn off 
in upcoming videos i will try to make this project with different microcontroller with lot of extra features so please do follow us on instagram and also join our telegram channel to get update for the upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day